Hello and welcome to the Romero Threads YouTube page. My name is Ever Romero and today we are working on a very, very cool project. We are going to embroider the Wu-Tang symbol on this cool looking heavy blend gilded sweater. All right, so it's gonna look very, very fresh on this white color. Okay, this is some of the twill that we work with. All right, so we have different types of color. All right, we could go with the gold. All right, always a classic look. When it comes time for uh, Wu-Tang colors. Let's see what else do we got? We got the purple, of course. We got the black, all right? This black will definitely stand out with this white sweater. Okay, so we might go with that. We have the pink, okay? Pink is always one of the favorites. And of course, we have the red. Red would actually look pretty good with the white, okay? Then you got the dark blue. Also, cool thing about applique is that you can switch up the colors, the fabrics, whatever you wanna go with, all right? You know, you always have your checkered colors, the reds, the blues, the baby blues, or, of course, the Mickey Mouse. We could go with this Mickey Mouse. So, it'll actually look pretty cool. Wu-Tang symbol with the Mickey Mouse. All right, you don't see that every day. So I'm just telling you, you know, you have options to work with. So let's go ahead, let's hoop this up. Let me put away uh, our twill. Okay, so let's go ahead and start hooping up this sweater. Okay, so what you wanna do, you wanna find the center point or the center line. Okay, of course, you could just do the old fashioned way of just folding it in half, okay. So you could just fold it in half, all right? Then, I just use our, uh, our little ruler right here. All right, so I got a little line going on here. Okay, it's kind of hard to look. Let's check out this uh, view right here. All right. So, let's put this away. Okay, and then we have our uh, hooping station here. So, this is our uh, Mighty Hoop station. All right, so we got the big tab up here. Bring this down a little. We got our first uh, magnet down here, ready to go. Now we're gonna put some, uh, some backing some cutaway. All right, so we got our uh, cutaway here. And check this out. So, actually makes it pretty easy. Now, okay, we just throw it over. All right. So you have this screw here, that's your center line, okay? So you just wanna make sure your dot up here matches that, that screw, okay? As long as it's close, then you're good. Okay, so let's check it out. My line, so you wanna use these uh, two little dots on your hoop, verify you're good. Yep, you look good. All right, so this line goes straight down. We are good to go. All right, let's open up a, uh, let's bring in our artwork. Okay, so you could just, whatever artwork you have. So this is going to be an applique design. So all we're gonna do is make about four different stitches. All right, so we got the logo here. You can click on it, push K. That'll just put a little lock right here. Okay, it's not gonna move. So all we're going to do is trace the logo all around, all right? So we're gonna go here to uh, digitize. Let's go to a closed shape, digitize closed shape. Okay, 
uh, we are going to outline. We just want a straight line right now. All right, uh, let's see, straight line, all right, cool. Let's put this away and then we can zoom in right here. All right, and then let's go ahead and trace it. So you already know on the corners, it's a left click. And then once you do uh, the round corners or the, uh, the curved lines, then it's a right click, all right? So it's right click, right click. And then you get to this corner, left click. Okay, and then this, this is a straight line. So we're going straight out here, all the way to the tip. Okay, so down here, we kind of got something we didn't want. So you could just backspace, backspace, backspace. You could actually left click right here. Actually, let's put a right click here, and then we could left click. Or actually, we could bring it all the way through. Here we go. Left click. Left click, since we're doing straight lines. Now we got curved lines. Let's do a right click. Okay, right click here. All right, let's go right, right. And then we're good. We just push the enter. We'll close it up. You can push T to check your line. Okay. So we could change this color. Press uh, O on your keyboard and it'll select that file. All right. Now, let's just change our color. Let's give it a red color so we could see it. All right. So now we see it very bold. Now we want to edit these lines to make sure they're on point. All right, so you're gonna push H, and now you could edit your lines. So if you wanna add like a, an extra node here, you could just click on it, okay? And then uh, space bar to change it from left click to right click, all right? So we'll do a curve and just bring this up a little. Bam, all right, so we'll start here. Let's zoom in. All you want to do is drag it here, okay? Good there. We'll actually go a little big, okay? Because we'll go, we'll overextend it. Because once we start stitching, you know, it'll it'll make up for it. Just so that corner won't be too tight. All right. So we want to focus on the lines here, okay? Everything's looking good. Check, we could bring this center line more in. Okay. And the start and stop points, we can actually start it. I don't want to start it in that corner right there. So we'll just start it right there, right on top of the head. Okay, so let's check it out. Yep, everything's looking good. Zoom out, zoom back in. So I'm just using the scroll button on my uh, mouse. Okay, so right here we have a little, it's out a little, we wanna make it actually a circle. That means it's a, a curve, okay. And then this one's kinda coming in a little. So we could put a little click circle, bring it out a little. Uh, we might be able to delete this one. Yeah, so we deleted that one. We didn't really need that one. Okay. All right, that's looking good. Then you can move this node a little closer down here. All right, so we're good. That line, you always want the first line to be perfect. Okay, because everything is going to follow that first line. Okay, so we'll hit the D button and it just hides the picture in the back, all right? So now you see our sign, all right? So we're gonna have three stitches. Okay, we're gonna have this one. This is the placement stitch. 
then we're going to have the tack down stitch and then we're going to put down the satin stitch okay the hot key for a duplicate control D all right so we're gonna click on it control D one time two times okay since we're going to use our cutter for this file I just need three now if you're going to hand cut it then you're going to have to add an extra uh, you're gonna have four total stitches here okay so you're gonna have a placement cut stitch then a tack down stitch okay but we're already gonna have it cut and uh, so we don't need that fourth one right so we'll have three okay so first one our placement so let's go ahead and get into metric system okay just because now we're talking about uh, we're gonna get into the small details of the project part all right so let's go object properties okay uh, so this is just a placement stitch so the stitches don't just could stay at 2.5 now we get to our tack down you could just use a zigzag okay zigzag and Go spacing uh, three, three millimeters. Okay, you don't have to be super close. This is just to hold down the fabric or the twill. Then we could use a three on the width. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's zoom in, see what we're working with. Okay, all it's gonna do is hold down that, hold down the, the twill. Actually, I'm gonna go 3.5. We'll change it to this blue. I like to keep my thing blue. And actually, we gotta check out the stitch. Okay, center run. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll keep that center run. That's no problem. And keep that one. Okay. Now, for our third stitch, this one on this is our satin stitch okay so we're gonna turn this one purple all right these are usually the colors that I use I use red for placement blue for tack down purple for satin stitch okay let's check it out all right so let's make it satin stitch bam now we're going to manual space Okay, 3.6 is cool. Auto split, we don't need that. And then we're gonna go four millimeters. All right, so it's gonna be a nice fat stitch right there. Bam, let's see. Okay, yep. All right, there you go. Let's see, what else do we got? Let's check out the underlay center run. Uh, everything is tagged down. Uh, I could take off this underlay. We really don't need it anymore. We have plenty of uh, underlay now because we have the center stitches, we have the zigzag stitches, so we're good to go. Okay, so let's go. Uh, everything else is cool. All right, so. That's pretty much it, all right? So I like to do this applique when it comes time for numbers, letters, uh, open, uh, close shapes, logos like this, okay? Very simple. And with this logo, I like it because you have a lot of space to put whatever fabric you wanna put under, okay? So it makes a, a real cool uh, design that you could just customize it however you want okay now let's create this um, cut stitch so we're gonna control you're gonna select the placement stitch copy it open up a new file paste okay so now we got the correct size cut stitch all right and then we are going to click here on file, export cutting. OK, 
Okay, so it's SVG. That's what you want to get. Embroidery shape, export to. And then you just want to export to the file. To your file, so we call it Woolware 2020. Okay. Bam, now let's export it. All right, that's the file we're gonna put on the cutting machine. Okay, so we're gonna use the scanning cut to make our cuts. All right, so let's go ahead with the cutting phase and have the file right here, which we just saved. Put it here on the side, the USB port. Okay, ready to go. Retrieve data, USB. Okay, and design 10, yep. Bam, right, gonna edit. Just move it a little to the side, just to give us a little space right there. Okay, good right there. All right, let's go ahead. Load up the mat. All right, that's the cool thing about the scanning cut. You could actually scan your fabric or your twill and it'll show you on the screen if you're good to go. So here, showing we're good to go. So we'll go okay. Okay, so let's check our uh, settings right here. We're at a uh, cut speed. Slow speed at a one, cut pressure minus four, cut pressure, so on the manual blade, minus four, and we should be good, okay. It's all one solid, uh, one solid shape, so it should come out fairly easy. All right, so let's go ahead. Very clean cut right here. Let's check out the carrier sheet. Okay, so we have our applique ready to go. Now, if you don't have a cutter, you can easily, like I said before, you can easily just hand cut it. Okay, once you put that sand stitch, it'll cover up any uh, jaggedness of the cut. Okay, but this is a nice, fresh, clean cut. Okay, so once we have that placement stitch, we'll easily put this down on top of it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start embroidering the sweater. All right, so we have our hoop hooped up, ready to go. Okay, so now we just gotta uh, make sure we're on the center. So, kind of center it a little. Okay. All right, so let's trace it. All right, center. So as you can tell, or as you can see, I have the hands down here on the bottom. Okay. Uh, I really don't like for the, for the hands, or sometimes if you have a hoodie, I don't like it for it to be all the way in the back because sometimes it can get tangled up. All right. So if you ever uh, hoop it up this way, just make sure you flip your design. All right. Upside down. Okay. So the design should be facing downwards. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So this first stitch that's going to be the placement stitch. Okay. Just so we know where to place our twill. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start. All right, there goes our placement stitch. So now we know where to lay down our fabric. So actually, I'm gonna unhoop it. I'm gonna take it off just because I want this uh, fabric to be well placed. All right, so we're back and I placed the, f the fabric, the twill, right on top of the placement stitch. All right, so let's go ahead and 
Let's do the tag down stitch now. All right, so I grabbed this tag down stitch very nice. Let's see, let me zoom into the details. Look at that. So we're good. All right, so now is the last stitch. It's our sand stitch to finish it off, all right? So this last stitch is going to be a four millimeter sand stitch at 0.36 millimeter spacing. All right, so let's go and start it up. All right, there we go. Let's check this out right off the hoop, right off the station. It is looking nice, nice and clean. These sand stitches are nice and fresh right here. Look at that. So this is a, uh, a twill with adhesive underneath. So right after I clean this up and unhoop it, I'm gonna hit it with the heat press, all right? And that's just gonna make this twill combine with the sweater even more. Okay, we're at the heat press now. We have our sweater nice and clean. We cut out the cutaway and we remove the little blue line that we had here with the water soluble pin. So that easily comes off. We use the tight pin and it, it easily comes off with that. Okay, so this heat press, this uh, twill calls for a 340 degrees temperature on the heat press for 20 seconds. All right. So we got the heat press ready to go, 340, all right, we got our Teflon sheet, all right, so we got the Teflon sheet to protect the twill, let's go ahead, let's go, we're at 340, 340 degrees, all right, so. And bam, there we go. We are good to go. Check this out. Looking nice and clean. Okay, thank you for stopping by today. And like always, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. All right, peace.